If you're starting out or you're finding that you're not even getting anyone to come comment on your streams, one thing that can help is to schedule your live streams and then specifically invite people to those stream times. For example, I've done some events before where not even one person showed up. I advertised the event, but I didn't ask anyone specifically that I knew to come. If you want people to show up to your streams, you really need to ask people who you've already got an existing relationship with. Ultimately, having someone come to your streams is kind of a favor. You're asking someone to not do anything else and come to your live stream. Facebook is really well set up for this. What I did in launching my podcast, when I got my podcast up, I went and messaged a bunch of my friends and asked them specifically to come listen to my podcast. Now, while many did not reply at all and probably may not have listened, I've got several friends who consistently do listen to almost every episode on my podcast. If you want to build a live streaming audience, I'm sure this will work very well because all you really need is those first few people on your stream for things to snowball. The biggest difference is from zero to one. If you've got no one at all watching your stream, then one person comes in and they're the only one there. That makes a huge difference. If you want to build a community, it helps to have at least one person there that you can interact with. The easiest way if you're struggling to get anyone at all to watch or you just want a few more people to have things more interactive is to schedule a stream at a specific time and then send messages to people you think might want to watch it. I recommend only picking the people who think you have a good percentage that they're going to be interested. I don't recommend just spamming things to everyone. I had a Kickstarter project before. I just spammed all my friends with it. I didn't consider who might specifically want to donate to the project. I just sent hundreds of messages out spam. I recommend focus. Ask a small amount of people because while it might seem overwhelming if you've got hundreds of friends to try and ask all of them, I'm sure you can pick out three to five people who you think would really like to watch your stream. And you can schedule it and say, look, I'm going to be on at 6 p.m. tonight. Will you please stop by my stream? And the best format to ask in is, will you please come watch my stream? Because I think you'll get some laughs out of watching me play this game. The key is to start with a will you please. That's a nice way to ask. People respond good to that because it makes it safe to say, no, I'm busy tonight, maybe another night. And then because gives a clear reason. Most of us like to think we're rational. And when you say because, it gives our rational mind a reason, which then allows us to make an irrational decision sometimes while having the rational side covered. If you want to get those viewers and you're having trouble getting anyone, it's really important to let people know when you'll be online and where to watch. What I've noticed a lot of my friends do wrong in terms of getting viewers is they go live and don't ask any of their friends to come watch. For example, I've got friends I've been playing video games with for 10 years. They go live on Twitch. Never once have they asked me to come watch their streams. Even though I might enjoy coming to stop on and say hi to their stream. I might enjoy watching for a little while, even though occasionally I've been on Twitch and noticed they were on. Never once have they told me, hey, I'm going to be live streaming today. Will you please come stop by and watch? Not once. A lot of us try and do stuff all on our own like that, and then we try and hustle these people we don't know to come watch our streams when we aren't willing to ask the people we already know for a favor because, well, they might ask for one back. You build relationships by asking favors. I asked you to do something for me. You asked me to do something for you. That is how we build stronger relationships. It's okay to go ask your friends and family members to watch your live stream. And in fact, those are some of the people who might be really good foundations for your community. You want someone who knows you really well to be a moderator in your community. You want someone who knows you really well to watch all of your streams because they're in a good position to bring your friends 
in and then to bring in their friends. When you ask someone and another one of your mutual friends asks the same person to come watch your live stream, that is a critical mass that will often get the person to say, yes, okay, both of these people want me to watch this live stream. Sure, I'll come do that. Scheduling your streams, if you can, can be a great way to rally people together and make sure people are online. Now, there's no substitute for just throwing up a stream and seeing who comes to watch. I don't schedule most of my live streams because I don't schedule most of my life. In fact, for me, it's more effort lots of times to try and schedule something. What I then suffer from, essentially, is people very often don't know I'm online. Or if I would have given some advance notice, I might have had two to five times as many people that watch. But since I don't give any advance notice, I often get a fraction of the viewers, which is okay. Because then it's easier for me if I've got a smaller audience to make meaningful interactions back and forth, which then tends to build a bigger audience. If you're live streaming every day, it's nice to stay on a schedule, but sometimes your viewers might be on at an unexpected time. Therefore, scheduling streams is not something you want to do if you find it's preventing you from live streaming. I've found that when I have to schedule live streams, I just often don't schedule and then I don't do it. So for me, I don't schedule my streams and I don't ask people to watch because I've already got enough people watching my streams. Therefore, I essentially have gotten to the point where I don't do a lot of the stuff that I've shared here because I've already got enough people watching. However, when I started out, I did schedule my streams. I did ask people to come watch and that made a huge difference. My first live webinar I had on Facebook ads was on YouTube, a live stream on YouTube. I asked lots of people to come watch. I scheduled it a long time in advance. The next several webinars I did on YouTube were done the exact same way. I asked people to watch who'd already watched the first one. I scheduled it well in advance. Therefore, I did practice what I'm suggesting here.